Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Today's video is a little different. In today's video, I'm going to present my analysis on Bitcoin, Ripple XRP, and we'll also discuss gold and silver, which we don't normally do too. So we're going to discuss four of these things and we are going to uh, look at the swings level uh, price movement in Bitcoin and XRP. Uh, because they're really volatile so we're looking towards which way the major swing is uh, happening which way the major price trend is occurring and in gold and silver we try to look at a smaller time frame as well so first of all Bitcoin in front of us um, I my analysis is telling me that we have of course uh, completed the uh, the bullish move that occurred right from the bottom right over here uh, the 2020 2021 uh, bullish market is over uh, of course it's not it's a no-brainer uh, because we are down more than around 50 percent somewhere around 50 percent so my analysis is telling me that we are in the bear bearish trend right now and the trend will continue on till to the dramatic decrease of price somewhere around 4800 4900 it might go down to somewhere around 3900 so anything before anything in between them with the target price area it's a very uh, i'm pretty sure that a lot of people are getting going to get a lot of angry uh, because of this and uh, First of all, let me zoom in for the target area so we can actually see the target area, okay? I'm not really used to with trading view, so stay with me, all right? Okay, okay. I thought they was used to come up and down, no? Oh, so the target area, once again, is anywhere from 3,900 to 4,900. And we are, our target is here in the medium of somewhere around, you can say around 4,400, 4,500. That's our target area for the bearish price movement. Uh, the different patterns that I'm looking at it in uh, are really uh, amazing. We have not seen uh, anything different from those patterns in previous history. Uh, I spent all this morning going to the history of uh, Bitcoin I was thinking of the prices in a pattern way and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting and now the patterns are looking looking more and more clear first of all I it looks very very one thing that can actually obstruct the deep price movement of Bitcoin is that if you can stay go above and stay above this area which is around 42,000 41,000 area so that will be an indication that there is some strength and there is some strength that we are unable to see right now uh, right now my analysis is saying that we can clearly see the price drop and we've seen a deeper correction and when the price is further drop a lot of time has spent uh, has gone a lot of time has gone already and we are right now kind of seeing a head and shoulder pattern right now this being a head and the, we have one shoulder over here right shoulder and the, we have a left shoulder over here so the prices are slowly moving away right? there is uh, some correction coming as far as the bearish price trend movement is concerned so there is some bearish uh, there is some correction expected, but I do not think that that will take the prices beyond 41,500. So, as I said, that it looks to me that the, the trend that started right from top over here is not complete. It is nowhere near completion. We are seeing a major, major price movement. As some of you guys are might know, Amazon. I was looking at Amazon and I was trying to figure out different patterns and I have seen some sort of study which is equivalent to what we are seeing in Bitcoin I do believe that we are Bitcoin is heading down all words at this point if you are trading Bitcoin is very very important to keep in mind these important support areas first of all what we can do is if you are expecting prices to go up uh, do not be really bullish in Bitcoin unless <coughs> prices go and stay beyond 42,000 comfortably so this is one of your logical uh, thinking. It's not something that forecasting, it's something analysis. We will see a confirmation of the bullish trend only if prices go beyond 41,500, 42,000 area. As far as bear price movement is concerned, we are very, very close to a very important area. You guys can see that this area is very, very important. I'm very big fan of the support areas from previous trends and we can see that the previous trend we have seen one major area right over here we have seen some uh, support right over here some support right over here but they are way gone right now we are on this very important support area and we have already tested it two times right already so it looks like that a sharper price movement could occur 
or we could zoom in in this stay in this area for some few days or few weeks and then fall down and of course the next target area for bearish price movement is 16,000 this range right over here is the next target for uh, the top is 20,000 and the bottom is 16,000 once again I've done some research on on uh, Amazon and I was looking to uh, look at price behavior with just prices rocketed to the sky or to the moon and we've seen uh, 1990s uh, dot com bubble and Amazon was one of the companies uh, so I am of view that for now the prices are heading down towards about 4500 in Bitcoin and uh, we're gonna look at uh, XRP so there is a possibility first of all do not look at the triangle there's a possibility that we might see some correction going all the way and it might actually take prices back to this top right over here all right there is a possibility there is a possibility and it might actually push it and but the important level for the, the reversal of the trend is right over here one dollar and ten cents one dollar and nine cents is the important area of for the reversal of the trend if prices can actually go above uh, 110 right over here and stay in this area there will be an indication and this is once again analysis it's not forecasting I'm not using some um, magical function to see what's happening in the in the in the future this is simply price pattern that we are looking at it we are looking at important support and resistance areas so I would not be bullish in XRP as far as the long-term trends are concerned till the price is actually cross 110 I don't think so that's likely happening now the upward price movement that's expected can actually go to right over here or actually can go to right over here or it can actually go in this area so the upward because all of this behavior is dependent on how much demand comes in we can see that it is expected that we are expecting to see some demand coming in XRP and the demand is expected to be uh, coming back in Bitcoin as well but as long as the longer term trend is concerned the major trend is concerned i'm seeing the bearish price movement to continue in xrp ripple ethereum and all the cryptocurrency world basically once that upper price movement is complete it goes it should go right over here or here wherever it goes and then of course we'll see the resumption of the bearish price movement in xrp there's a good good possibility that the prices will go all the way down below somewhere around 20 cents 25 cents in xrp it's very very dangerous uh, that we are in this market but this is how the things are showing up right now let's have a look at uh, at gold I did mention that we will be discussing silver but in this market in this in this video uh, if I can find the chart I'm doing some study on this uh, this chart so I won't be pointing of course that and I'll see if I can show some other chart on um, on on silver first of all uh, silver uh, sorry gold I am uh, I am bearish on gold I have been posting that I am bearish on gold and nothing has changed uh, for as far as that behavior is concerned I'm bearish I'm strongly bearish on gold and I do believe that but I do believe that we are going through a correction right now and that correction is going to be deep it's going to be painful for people who are not expecting it and it's, it's going to be really painful but it's also going to be an amazing opportunity to join the major trend that actually started right from the top as far as the trend analysis is concerned we have two i have been using this black trend line and it still is valid i'm using it i have another trend line the blue one that i'm using right now starting from the top all the way out over here and it has also given us uh, three checkpoints one's right over here one's right over here and one is of course we're at the top so I'm expecting the prices is going to go right over here and it's going to probably stick to the trend line and the target of course so you're looking at it is not wrong. I'm expecting the prices to go all the way to 1879 and that's the target for uh, for the correction to finish. And if you, as you're looking at it, if as far as the labeling is concerned, the W, X and Y, don't worry about it. I'm going to revise it. Uh, I just leaving it for for just you know a reference point so I'm considering this whole price movement starting from this bottom to this top as a flat correction wave A wave B and wave C elongated wave C I'm considering this whole wave as five wave structure for example sub wave 1 sub wave 2 sub wave 3 sub wave 4 and sub wave 5 completes wave 1 and right now either we are completing a double zigzag pattern <coughs> or we are completing a single zigzag pattern 
in both cases the support is coming in an action the horizontal support is coming in action the diagonal support is coming in action so it's a very very good chance that the prices are going to go up all the way to 1879 uh, i have in my research and in my study that i have uh, done this uh, study then some of the trend lines act like magnets prices just simply stick to them and i'm seeing a sim expecting a similar behavior in this area that this is where the price is going to be because going to this blue line is going to act like as a magnet and we are expecting the price to go very deep very deep and this is somewhere 1879 is the target for gold let's have a look at uh, silver okay mm, market watch okay i'm gonna open the new chart for silver and chart window okay we can slide this over or we can actually close it we don't need it and we have uh, our templates that we can open and that's the uh, right okay now it's looking more useful on a four hourly chart so in my last video analysis which i forecast a few days ago i was expecting that it's going to follow gold and it's going to go all the way deep of course that did not happen so this is giving us an indication that silver is strong and it's in bearish trend gold is going through correction silver is actually resuming the trend in next few days we are expecting to have some correction in silver row and expecting that we are going to go some select collect in, uh, in this region so basically this region is becoming really really important and there is a good possibility that we will actually see prices ticking in this region right over here so you're gonna see some sort of pattern that will keep the prices in this region it may go deep and find some support in this region as well but that price movement is going to be a correctional it's not going to be the uh, reversal of the trend and as i said that i have been bearish on gold and i've been bearish on silver and i think that uh, silver is showing its uh, behavior that is, is more strongly bearish as compared to gold so I'm bearish in gold and I'm bearish in silver. As for the trends in cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, XRP, it's, uh, Ripple, Ethereum, all of those things, I think we're going to see dramatic, dramatic losses in the price of XRP, Bitcoin. And I spent all this morning about seven, eight, eight uh, hours on researching that. And things are not really looking good for cryptocurrency. Thank you once again for visiting my channel. If you uh, like some content, uh, please do some mention, uh, push the thumbs up button and uh, spread the analysis. If you want to um, put some comments, I really welcome all sorts of comments as long as the comments are useful. But that does, that does not mean positive, means useful. For example, uh, you want to analyze something critically, you want to mention some important support and resistance areas, you are looking at something uh, that I have omitted, then amazing, amazing. It will be really good. So thank you once again. Have a good one and bye-bye.